Hello, White Belts. It is Monday, November 23rd, and we are just a mere couple of days away from... Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, that's right. And a month away from Christmas. Yes, that too. All right. Are you stealing the show here, or are you going to let me talk? All right, see you later. <laughs> All right, so White Belts, um, we only have two classes for Lima online this week, and only two days for in-person training this week. So we have today, and we have tomorrow. Before we start today's online class, please make sure you do your warm-ups. Okay, do your warm-ups, go to the app, click on curriculum, click on Lima Online, get your warm-ups done, and we'll see you back here in about seven to 10 minutes. All right, welcome back. All right, guys, so white belts, today we are going to be working on my favorite kick, and that is the... What are you doing with your hands? That's not the sidekick. Oh, there you go. The sidekick. The sidekick has four parts. Four parts. So, so my belly, put your hands up like you're my opponent. Part one, I'm going to turn my back foot. I turn my back foot so far that my heel points right at the target. Part two, I'm going to chamber my knee. That means bring my knee into my stomach here. Part three, I'm going to hit with my heel. Then I'm going to re-chamber and put it down. Again, one, I turn the foot. Two, chamber the knee. Get the foot, highlight the knee. Three, hit with the heel. Four, re-chamber and put it down. I washed them on Friday. Turn the back foot, chamber the knee, hit with the heel, re-chamber down. If we don't chamber the knee, if we just bring it up and kick out, the power's gonna go across and we're gonna hit with the wrong part of the foot and we're not gonna get the desired effect. We want that kick to go straight in and straight out. So we turn the back foot, chamber the knee, hit with the heel, re-chamber down. One of the things that you guys can do, so by bailing it on to a demonstrate right here in these targets, Okay, is we're gonna use these for balance. Maybe use a, the back of the couch, maybe use a, a chair for balance. We'll do a couple slow kicks here. So I turn the back foot, chamber that knee, kick out, back and down. Might do a few of these just to get comfortable with the kick. Turn the back foot, chamber the knee. Notice how the foot and the knee are the same height, the knees in the stomach, kick out, the foot's horizontal, back and down. So maybe you do about seven of these on this side, and then we go on the other side. Turn the back foot, chamber the knee, hit with the heel, re-chamber and down. Turn the back foot, chamber the knee, hit with the heel, re-chamber and down. Okay, now we're gonna go live on a target here. So my belly defensive stance set. Here. Okay, when you do this, guys, I'm not interested in how fast you are or how powerful you are. It's all about good technique. Okay, come a little closer. All right, begin. Kia. Notice everything he did there. He turned the back foot, chambered the knee, hit with the heel, re-chambered the knee, and put it down. A lot of students often, when they first start learning how to kick, is they kick, and then they drop their leg without re-chambering. One, you land too close to the opponent. Two, you're not getting set for another kick. Three, it's just a bad habit. So, ready, go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. This kick is super effective. Imagine somebody just grabs you right here. So my belly doesn't need to put that kick up high. It can go right, it can go right into the knees. Very, very vulnerable spot. Somebody grabs you, try to pull you into a van or something like that. Very effective kick. So let's get 20 to 30 reps on both your left and your right. Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. So guys, welcome back. As Bailey mentioned, Thanksgiving is just a couple days away. And this, this holiday season is very, very different than other years. Um, I don't know about you guys, but normally I don't decorate for Christmas till the day after Thanksgiving. Um, I usually, you know, I'm super excited for, for everything to get going. And, you know, this year just seems weird. It just seems so weird. Like when I drove, I went this weekend to Jandal Farms and picked up my turkey, um, you know, like every year. And it just seems so different. The people are just kind of like, uh, okay, and then, you know, I, I I noticed around my neighborhood, Christmas lights up everywhere already, and usually I'm, I'm very anti-Christmas lights till the day after Thanksgiving, I think one holiday at a time, but for some reason, I think we all kind of need some holiday cheer right now, and I, I have to admit, I caved this Saturday, I did my Christmas decorations, I put them up, I needed some holiday cheer, and I, I'm actually happy with it. Um, so let's talk about Thanksgiving for a second, guys. Thanksgiving is supposed to be this time for being thankful. Everybody right now is kind of feeling like 
what do we have to be thankful about? You know, is this, you know, we can't gather as groups and we can't do this and we can't do that. And it's all these restrictions of what we can and cannot do. Guys, I can sit here and say we can be glass half full or glass half empty. You can look at life, you can look at this holiday season with your glasses half empty or half full. What I mean by that, guys, is we can look at all the things that we cannot do this holiday. We can't get together with our families. We can't travel out of state. We can't do this, we can't do that. What we need to do right now is take a deep breath and be thankful for what we do have. Do you have your health? If so, be thankful. Are you surrounded by loved ones? If so, be thankful. Are you hopeful for the future that we have a vaccine and things are gonna turn the corner? Be thankful. So take the time, guys, to think about the things instead of what you are missing out on and start thinking about the things that you do have to be thankful for this holiday season. I know I'm thankful for all of you. All of you that kept Lima kicking all this time, we're thankful for you. So thank you. Now, Senpai Bailey and I are going to demonstrate self-defense number four for the white belts today. All right, Senpai. Who's Senpai? How do we got? These white belts need to see it properly every single time or they get lazy. Who's? Okay, so I grab on the Senpai Bailey here. Notice my arms are bent here. It's not like our number two Frankenstein grip. This guy's in your face grabbing on really tough, okay? I got you, kid. No way, dude. Senpai Bailey's going to put his hands up like he's surrendering. And from here, he's going to smash the bad guy right in the ears. Bang. Clapping the ears. Now, from there, I let go. He's going to kick between the legs. And he's going to do what we call palm strike right to the yeah. face. Now, if you've never been clapped in the ears before, gently make a cupping motion like this and clap right here. Now, imagine this. Ooh, the ears just pop, man. It's not good. It's just like that, right in the ears. It's going to cause a person to be stunned and let go. So again, got your kid. No way he did. He claps. Boom. That makes him let go. Kick between the legs. Palm straight to the nose. Key out. Yeah. Now, we don't really want to hit our partner at all. So we're going to make sure that somebody belly claps over my head. Got your kid? No way, dude. He claps. He kicks. And he does his palm strike. Yeah. We do that palm strike. The fingers are closed. And we hit with the heel of the palm right into your attacker's nose, flattening her nose. Okay? Got your kid? No way, dude. Clap. Kick. Yeah. Palm strike. Simple but effective. So the attacker's got gotcha. you. He grabs on, says, gotcha kid, you say. No way, dude. Hands up, clap him, kick him. Palm strike, ki yeah. Again. Got gotcha, you kid? No way, dude. Clap him. Kick him. Palm strike. ki yeah. One more time. Got gotcha, you kid? No way, dude. Clap him. Kick him. Palm strike. ki yeah. Alright, guys, let's get lots of reps in. Work those side kicks. Think about what we have to be thankful for. And let's get self-defense number four in. Thanks for being Lima Strong, guys. We'll see you online. We'll see you on the map. You gonna turn off the thing? Anyway, yep. now. Bye.